सभी को नमस्ते वी डूइंग एक्सरसाइज टू ऑब्जर्विंग द बॉडी एंड द इंटरक्शन बिटवीन द सेल्फ एंड द बॉडी बाय द सेल्फ एंड वाइल डूइंग दिस वी विल आल्सो बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद एक्सरसाइज वन एट द सेम टाइम वट एवर स्टेप्स वी डिड इन एक्सरसाइज वन इफ वी हैव बिकम फेमिलियर विद दो स्टेप्स वी विल कंटिन्यू टू डू दैट and now we will also be looking at the body and how we are interacting with the body on a regular basis so we discussed about the needs the fulfillment of the needs the activities and the responses which are very different between the self and the body and though this chart is very familiar to us we have been looking at this chart for a long time since the start of the first workshop even so um it is significant to see that now all of this that we are talking about we have to try to observe within us directly so when we say the activities are continuous in the self we can observe this directly that my feelings my thoughts my expectations are constantly going on within me if we look at the need of the self for happiness we can see that i want to be happy all the time so it is a continuous need it has to do with my feelings whenever i have the right feeling i am happy so therefore this need is fulfilled by having the right feeling and how can i have the right feeling in continuity i need to understand so i have to make effort to understand so all this we can see and we can also see directly or at least we can start to see that whatever i do outside the base of that is the activity within me the imagination within me and this imagination within me what drives this imagination or what is leading to the various thoughts and all of that is the feeling at the base of the imagination and if we look at the feeling the source can be within largely it is within if we look at our or if we refer to the pure part within us the natural acceptance then we can or we have the potential to have the feeling in accordance with the natural acceptance at all times and this is what uh, is being proposed that this is possible once we have the right understanding in completeness so then you can have the right feeling in continuity till that happens we can focus on the natural acceptance because if we don't and this void is there we don't have the right feeling then we keep slipping into various assumptions and based on that we derive our feeling and therefore we keep waiting for things outside to change because we don't have the right feeling inside we don't feel happy within and therefore we look outside for the happiness so now the assumption has completely changed our feeling because of the lack of understanding but once we get to knowing once we have the right understanding in completeness now our acceptance is what we accept as the reality is in fact going to be the way the reality is and not a perception of our misconceived assumptions so then our recognition and fulfillment our interaction with human beings and the nature everything that we do outside 
that behavior can be definite. So all of this we have to directly try to see within ourselves. Otherwise, it is just words and it will remain as information. We have to try to bring it in our living. So the more and more we contemplate on this, the more and more we churn this, the more and more we directly try to observe the feeling and refer to the natural acceptance, the more we'll be able to see our progress in this, the more we will have, we will have happiness in the self. More meaning in more and more moments. Because happiness also you can see it is either there or not there. Either you are in harmony, you are calm or you are not calm. Uh, Ma'am, uh, in yesterday night when I was uh, uh, working with the system, uh, myself said that you have to finish the work um, now itself. But uh, my body uh, start to pain. So uh, finally I decided, that is I thought that myself decided to uh, take rest the later either in morning you can work and do it. So I observed that there is a coexistence respond for the self to the body and the coexistence between that uh, body and the uh, self. Uh, this is how I feel ma'am with uh, my observation. Nice. Nice that we are paying attention to the body and the self as two distinct entities. I wouldn't close the issue and say that I have been able to see the coexistence, but mm -hmm. certainly we can see that these are two distinct entities. And mm -hmm. we will also see that whatever instruction we give to the body, the body goes along with it. This becomes very clear when like now you could see that even mm -hmm. though you want to do something, the body mm -hmm. seems to have its own limitations. So then, mm -hmm. It's not that the body decides to go to sleep, but you have given the instruction to the body that, okay, now, since things are not, you know, it is difficult, so let us go to sleep and then tomorrow we can do it. And so you give the instruction to the body and so therefore you, the body follows. So this way, if we keep looking at it, as two distinct entities, now it becomes clearer and clearer that I am the one who is giving the instruction. And we can see this very clearly in like the example we give that, you know, sometimes people say that you can't help it when there is hunger in the body. There are hunger pangs, the feeling that you are hungry. Mm -hmm. But then the day that you decide that you want to keep a fast, mm. the body doesn't complain. Mm. You go yeah. through the entire day and you may not even think about food. Similarly, you have to have the food at a particular time, but say you are very busy with your work. You are so engrossed in that work. That work is seems very important to you, you may forget, you may not realize that time has passed for eating the food. Now, what happened, even though you were getting hunger pants regularly every day at a particular time, now what happened? Now also the same situation happened, but earlier you had been paying attention to it. Now, you thought something else was more important, you didn't pay attention to it, and the body didn't complain. So even though you may have been eating at 12 o'clock every day, you're busy doing something, it becomes 2, 2.30 and you haven't eaten. And then you realize, oh, look at the time. Now, nothing really went wrong with the body. You just didn't pay attention to the sensations in the body at that time. So all this we'll be able to see very clearly as we keep going. When we pay attention, 
we can see all this now this slide also we are familiar with that in these two entities the body which is a material unit and the self which is a consciousness unit this interaction between the two is only in the form of exchange of information nothing physical is going from the self to the body or from the body to the self what is being relayed from one unit to the other is only information so what is that information there is some sensation in the body and this sensation in the body is being read by the consciousness and the in the consciousness i go through some process of looking deeper into that sensation or deriving some meaning out of that sensation and then i give instruction to the body so then this instruction is passed on to the body so in the simple example that we were taking right now there is a sensation in the stomach when it is time for me to give food to the body say it is lunch time now that sensation is there in the body i as the consciousness read that sensation that sensation may be just some some sensation say in the stomach but i am the one who attaches that meaning to it that this is hunger i am the one who decides whether to give the body food now or not depending on what i see as significant for me at this time so i go through this process within me of deciding what to do with this sensation that i have read then based on my decision i give some particular instruction to the body so this instruction is passed on to the body and then i will give further instruction right so if i decide that it is time to give the body food then i will give the instruction to the body to get up go to the table take the food put it in the mouth and so on if i decide that it is not so significant for me right now i have something more important to do right now then i will even if i pay attention to this sensation of hunger in the body i will ignore that or say i am going somewhere i will give instruction to the body to get up and go there rather than to move towards the food and so on so you can observe this in yourself directly or we'll take the example of what chandrakala ji was saying that you want to do some work it is late night it is time for the body to rest and some sensations are also there in the body the eyes may be drooping the you know the you feel that yes the body needs this rest at this time so that sensation when you read the tiredness the sensations in the body that it is time to go to sleep but when you read this sensation you come to some conclusion based on whatever you think is important at that time so at that time if you think that the work you are doing is more important then you ignore this sensation and you keep doing the work and you can notice this very clearly when there is some major event in the family say there is a wedding the whole house everybody is awake and 
lot of excitement, lot of planning, lot of family together, laughing, talking, spending time together. At this time, even though the sensation comes up at the same time, it is time to put the body to rest, to lie down, to go to sleep. Even so, I find this more significant, what is happening outside. So even though, you know, the yawning is there, the eyes are closing, it is, you know, you can see that the body needs to sleep, but still I keep going. And sometimes in such occasions, the self may continue to be active, I mean, continue to keep the body awake for the entire night. And then after everybody leaves in the morning, then you give instruction to the body that now it can rest. Now you can go to sleep. You will notice that if many times in the day, many activities that we are doing, we tend to be doing all this. Now we have to just start paying attention to this. Seeing these two units as separate and seeing this, um, you know, as information within me. That this information of the sensation that I receive from the body, I am the one who is processing this, sort of. I am the one who is coming to some decision based on whatever I think is important. And then accordingly, I am giving instruction. So all this we can see directly in ourselves now. Uh, Didi, what I am observing is, uh, because of a, a small fracture in my leg from last three weeks, I am not able to move. Every day I used to do five to two, eight or 10 kilometers walk every day. From last three weeks, I'm not able to do that. Now, uh, because of that, I'm giving the instruction to my body, at least sit and do small exercises, sitting exercises. My body not ready to do, just to turn my hands or fist like that, Didi. Every day I'm giving the instruction, just to do sit and do exercise, but it won't listen. Means I'm not doing actually. I'm not doing means my body. Uh, that's what I'm observed, Didi. Even while sitting for observation, I'm asking, I'm telling it, okay, do sit and do little exercises, or else uh, obesity, uh, it leads to some other problems. Do, 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 it, I'm saying actually. But my body not listening. Not listening means I'm not ready to. I'm, I'm in the sense my body not ready to do the exercises, Didi. What I observed is. Yeah. So there may not be enough clarity about the self and the body. Of course, if the body is damaged, say if there is a fracture in the foot and we give the instruction to the body to jump, of course, you know, if we truly jump, now it is going to yeah, damage I, it. I, but sitting exercises, did they? Yes. Uh, but uh, not, not the okay sitting, standing. Just sit and turn the body, I'm saying. But once or twice it is turning, again I'm sitting. Simply I'm sitting. So you look at it very closely. Is the body saying no or you are only feeling, you know, some... Is the problem in the body or in the self? What do you think? See, we have many things as information. We say cigarette smoking is bad for health. Right? Many doctors smoke. Isn't it? Do you think they don't have the information? They certainly have this. Yes. But if you think that your happiness lies in something outside or if you want to drown your unhappiness by something from outside then you will continue to do it because that seems to be what is more important for you see the self wants to be happy end of the day that is the important thing the self wants to be happy so if that happiness it can't see within 
it will try to get it from outside our focus is to try to see it within and then do things outside rather than without that happiness trying to do things outside so that i become happy can you see the difference yes yes didi yes yes so just having the information is not enough okay. we have to actually give the instruction to the body not just thinking about the instruction but actually right then give the instruction just do it if it is significant for us if it is important enough for us then we will do it that we were not used to waking up this early in the morning but we are doing it because we see something significant in it or you know something of importance we'll continue this observation today all day